you guys welcome back to realty rides today we're going to do a little profile on our beautiful block 1983 911 se convertible cabriolet and we're going to find out today exactly how easy it is to open up the top and close the top whether or not it's comfortable to drive on an overcast day like today such as around 50 45 degrees and also how practical are these vehicles can you actually carry stuff in it can you go to the store can you use it as a daily driver can this car be used as an exercise vehicle a lot of questions are, have been asked of, of me over the years. So today I will try to answer as many questions as I can and let you know the actual practicality of owning a convertible a 911 SC. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna take the top down. So I've already loosened the zipper on the back plastic cover. Uh, they're actually the rear plastic window and you wanna make sure that it's kind of dusted off first. Otherwise, the hard top, I'm not the soft, I'm sorry, the soft top will craze the plastic. So here we go inside the car. And there are two latches. I already opened up the right one. Here's the left one. This is kind of hard to do with one hand, so bear with me. And then we go, open up the zipper all the way down. And then make sure it's kind of flat. Make sure the seats are down also. You don't want the seats up when you do this. And then you kind of maneuver this. Hold a second a little bit. And there you go. And then you lift it with one hand all the way around. And it opens up. Put these back down. And there you go. Convertible top, convertible Porsche. The visor's back up. And then I'm gonna show you here in a minute. We have a little tono top that comes on the on the top as well. So the top is on. I had to do it uh, without you guys watching because it's actually a, a two-handed job. You had to put these snaps on. To, actually, the couple snaps are still loose. So I gotta put them back on a little bit tighter. But anyways, the tono top comes on top of the fold up top so that it keeps it from flapping in the wind and this top is old I need to replace it but that's what it is it's a tono top so how many how many things can you actually put on the back of this little seat can it carry children can you put groceries on there well let's find out here in just a few seconds so yes you definitely can go shopping with this car you can put in five bags of groceries still got a room in the front seat and on the very front of the car you have the front with ample room for more groceries and larger items that you need to use for your shopping needs so but can you carry passengers in the back of the car well let's find out so of course i'm joking with these two little mickey mouse and minnie mouse dolls in here you can definitely carry two small children and maybe some small adults but not for a long distance these seats are they're roomy. I can fit in there, but then my knees would be on the back of the seat, on the front seats. So uh, definitely some room, but this car is not necessarily designed for four people, although you can carry four people uh, when you need to. All right, here we are. Oh my God, how beautiful this is. Ah, really, really nice. Glendale Beach, Woodby Island. You guys need to join us. And yes, look at this. Who said Porsches aren't practical, huh? Who said Porsches ugh, aren't practical? They are super practical cars. I've been doing this for years. On the back of my 911. Well, now that we've seen how practical this car can be for your daily driving needs, let's see what it's like to drive the car with the top down on an overcast, kind of 45, 50 degree day here on the show. So come along for the ride.
right now we're driving on our favorite little road here, Glendale Road, here on Whidbey Island, South End. And the top is down, got the windows up, and it, uh, it's not too bad, you know. There's wind noise, of course, because you're driving along the road here. And there's a car right in front of me. The joys of a convertible car are just unsurpassed. I mean, especially this type of 911. You know, you don't see a lot of videos on convertible Porsches. You see videos on convertible Ferraris and Lamborghinis, but not a lot on these cars. And this car, I'll tell you what, like right now I'm driving, people say, oh, you know, convertibles don't have good rigidity, they're, they're, flux, they're too flexing and it, they uh, rattle a lot. Well, I'm driving on a kind of a bumpy road right now, and the rigidity is just fine. I've been driving this car for over 21 years, and I'll tell you, it's uh, solid as a rock. Of course, it's never going to be as rigid and as structurally sound as a coupe. Like right now, I just hit a bump, there's a little bit of a rattle, but that's because it's a convertible top. It doesn't have a, a structure on top, it doesn't have a roof, it doesn't have eight pillars. But it's not designed for, you know, racing around. It's designed for cruising on nice country roads like I'm doing right now. Enjoying the scenery. Going for a picnic, going for a drive. Going shopping. You saw that. I could put five bags of groceries in the back of this thing and stuff in the front. And it can carry my two little nieces. Uh, when they were here last summer, I drove them around the island with my sister. And were perfectly comfortable. But again, you know, they have to be small. They can't be large adults, big people. And... I'm five foot ten. And I can barely fit in that little seat, and with my knees against the, uh, the front seat. But overall, it's a uh, great place to be. I have the heater on right now because it's a little cold, and the heater is working fine. My feet are warm. My, my body's warm. I'm not cold at all. And you can still have a normal conversation in this car, even though you're driving with the top down. Like if you guys were sitting next to me right now, you could hear me just fine. And you have, you have a good stereo here. The music sounds wonderful. I got four speaker stereo, surround sound, and it just sounds great. But the best sound of all, of course, that flat six, 200 horsepower engine in the back that just resonates and gives you that visceral driving experience you can't that you get in every in almost every air cooled 911. And this car, being almost, you know, 40 years old, is just a wonderful automobile. It's got 98, 99,000 miles on it, almost 100,000 miles. You know, it's been very reliable over the years. As long as you take care of them, as long as you drive them. You know, like I've been telling you guys in prior videos, you've got to drive these cars. They're not meant to be sitting in the garages for years, you know, for months, weeks, months at a time. You've got to get out there and actually enjoy them. Spool them up. Bring them up to the red line a little bit. In Europe, these guys on the autobahns, they drive these things consistently at 120, 140 miles per hour all day long. Now here in the States, since we have speed limits, we can't drive as fast. So the cars are not exercised as much as they should be. But I try to do that as much as I can with all the vehicles, especially the Porsches. And uh, you know, it's... Uh, I'm really enjoying myself, you guys. I wish you guys were with me inside this car right now, feeling the wind in my air, cool breeze, the smell of, you know, freshly, freshly mown grass, and being out here in the country, here on the countryside on Whidbey Island. tell with the top down it's a completely different driving experience and uh, it's very enjoyable like I said I got the heater on right there a lot of traffic today for some reason there is Whidbey Island there is the ferry dock over there see how beautiful this place is nice road driving a convertible car spring spring day life is good so Again, thanks for watching, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this little glimpse of what it's like to own a convertible 911 SE. So you see, it's a practical car. 
Uh, I've carried my bike on the back of this thing uh, with my little bike rack. And I've carried passengers, I've carried groceries, I've carried stuff from hardware stores, I've carried motorcycle parts. Um, this car is an incredibly durable, reliable, and extremely ready to do day-to-day -day chores. It is the, really, when you think about it, it's one of the most perfect sports cars you can buy. And on top of that, it's a convertible. Convertible car. Convertibles are uh, making a real big comeback right now, especially in the sports car world. We've got target tops, convertible tops. And uh, back in the day when this car was built, um, Porsche only had uh, the 356 before that and the Target tops back in the 70s. So this is the first year that the convertible came out for the Porsche 911, which is the 911 SC for 1983. So there we go, we're almost home. So thanks again for watching Realty Rides. Please like, comment, subscribe if you enjoy this little video. And we'll be doing some more Porsche related content coming up in the near future. So until then, thanks for watching us and we'll see you on the next ride.